Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today's video is a December clean with me. As it's the 1st of December, I want to try and make my house nice and cosy and ready for Christmas. And I'm also going to be going around and changing around some of my Christmas decorations in the living room. Just to make it a little bit more cosy and make the tree stand out a little bit more. So I have a few ideas in mind and I can't wait to show you how I end up doing it. But right now I need to get the kitchen nice and clean and ready for the day. So I'm just going to go ahead head and do the washing up wipe down the sides and make it nice and fresh I'm now trying to get into the habit of actually drying the washing up up and putting it away straight away instead of letting it air dry i normally just let it air dry and leave it for a couple of hours and go back to it but i actually much prefer just putting it away so i can then clean down the sink and get the kitchen completely finished so i'm going to go ahead dry it all up so i can do exactly that because i love having a finished kitchen and a shiny sink so i'm just going to go ahead and put all of this away the winter scents are back in B&M and I am absolutely in love with them I can't wait to start using everything I did go ahead and pick up three new candles because I was running out of my winter candles so I've got the winter spice the Airwick in the mold wine and also the Glade limited edition in the spiced apple and cinnamon and that smells so beautiful i can't wait to get that lit and just get my whole house smelling of apple and cinnamon it's so gorgeous but i also went ahead and it got the airwick mauled wine scent in the air freshener as well just to go with that candle to keep all the scents sort of the same but again it smells so good i can't wait to start spraying that throughout my whole house I then picked up some warm cinnamon in the Seflora because I just use Seflora on literally everything, especially in my kitchen. I'm always wiping everything down and filling up the sink with it so I didn't think you could have too much of the Seflora. This year I also have the Flash in the Spiced Apple. It's the first time I've picked this one up so I'm really excited for this one. I normally stick with the Method brand but I thought I'd try something different and as I was on a wintry Christmassy spree I saw that and just had to get it along with the mrs hinch winter edition this scent is rose wonderland and oh my gosh it smells incredible it leaves your clothes smelling so perfumed like you're actually wearing perfume when you're not like it is so beautiful so this is everything that i picked up i tried not to go too overboard but get something for each room so hopefully today i can get the house smelling nice and fresh ready for christmas so the first thing I want to do is go in with the Sif Cream and my Festive Minky and give the sink a good scrub. I love doing this. I love how it smells and it just wipes away anything that's stuck on to the sink. And I don't know about anyone else, but I always seem to have 
cheese and things <laughs> stuck to the sink and that just ends up going like super glue and it's so hard to get off but this sift cream just gets it off so easily especially using a minky so that's what i'm going to do at first of all just to get anything off that might be stuck onto the sink and then i'm going to go back over it with my flash spray just to get it nice and fragranced and smelling like christmas So the next thing I want to do is go in with the warm cinnamon Sephora and put a few drops in to hot water. I love doing this, it just helps the whole kitchen smell beautiful. I always just leave it in for the rest of the day so I'm just going to let the sink fill up while I go around and wipe down all the sides, drawers, cabinets and pretty much everything in my kitchen including the hob and everything with the flash spray just to get everything nice and clean. Once everything's nice and clean, I'm just going to go ahead and swap a couple of these Christmas decks around. I hate having a cluttered kitchen and I feel like the tiered tray made it look a little bit too cluttered and it works better in the windowsill as a bigger centerpiece. So once all that is swapped around, I can then move into the living room. As you can see, it's not too, too bad in here. It just needs to have a quick whiz round, a dust and a hoover, and then I can concentrate on the Christmas decorations in here as well. It's not looking as cosy as I want it to and the tree like underneath the tree is looking a little bit too bare so there's a few things I want to do so first of all I just need to get everything nice and tidy before I can then start decorating So like I said, underneath the tree is just looking a little bit too bare for me. So I've shopped my home and I'm wrapping up some presents that we're not going to miss. There's a couple of books that I've had for over a year and I just didn't get into them. And the presents that are wrapped up behind me are also fake presents. They are just empty cereal boxes and perfume boxes, which I can then just use as decorative presents every year. And I just think they're so cute. So if you are like me and you're on a budget or you've blown your budget for Christmas decorations you can always do a little bit of DIY shop your home and see what you can make or create out of something you already have Sipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages. Show only the good sides, 
Always pretty smiles are covered. So now I've tidied everything up, I'm going to go in with the Pled Surface Cleaner, wipe down the TV stand and the radiator cover and just get it nice and fresh. I do always take my garland off and clean underneath it because I'm always surprised at how much dust actually gets under there. So I do do this regularly, pretty much every other day I take all my ornaments off and give it a good dust. So I'm just going to go in and clean everything off before I can then give the room a good hoover. Hey, would you rather sit right here? Make everything disappear. You can play my favorite song. Put your rose colored glasses on. What if we stay right here? Make everything disappear. Lay low in the pitching sun. Put your rose colored glasses on. everything cleaned up i'm gonna go around and change some of my christmas decorations and i really want to focus on this section here i'm gonna move the table out because i want the tree to have like a bit more of a wow factor as it is the main focus point in the room and i just want it to pop a little bit more so i'm gonna add some different ornaments and things here along with these decorative presents and also some throw blankets maybe on this chair or something i'm not too sure how it's gonna end up looking but i just want to completely try transform this section. I'm walking around feeling free thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now don't know where don't know how lately I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes so it's true I'm so glad Feel it too. Nothing to hide. Falling in love. To me, it's perfectly clear. Falling in love. It's true. This part of the year has something in store for us. We're falling in love. Summer ended. But we did not We started something This thing that we got grew stronger Each day We're together On the way Oh, we're falling in love I just think this looks adorable. I've put a teddy there because I absolutely love teddies and I've also put some little twinkly fairy lights down because you know me, I love good fairy lights this time of year. And yeah, I do need to tweak the blankets a little bit probably to cover up some of these wires and stuff, but I just think it looks so pretty. And I think having the church there instead of over there makes a huge difference. And it's also made this corner look a little bit more cozy with the blankets in the corner rather than just hard ornaments. So yeah, now I just need to add a candle and something to there. But I'm just absolutely loving how this is turning out. In our hearts, we both know that we're falling in love. First thing I need to do is go in with the Mauled Wine Airwick air freshener and this smells beautiful so I definitely recommend it. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you back here in the next one. No.